Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the composition table for S3. And uh, we know that S3 has these six elements, which are row not, row one, row two, mu one, mu two, mu three. And where row one and row two are written here, and mu one, mu two, mu three are such that one and one is fixed in mu one, two is fixed in mu two, and three is fixed in mu three. I have written all the elements of S3 horizontally as well as vertically. And in the composition table, I have prepared so that A will be on the left hand side and B will be on the right hand side. And accordingly, this composition table has been prepared, where in the previous lecture, I have discussed about how to multiply two permutations. Now, what we aim to study in this lecture is that S3 actually forms a group with respect to the operation composition. Clearly, by observing this particular table, we understand that if A is in S3 and B is in S3, then A composite B is also belonging to S3. And this means that the closure is satisfied. Uh, we will not discuss about the associativity because it will hold by default. Then we will uh, look at the identity element of this particular group. In this group, we observe that if you multiply row naught by any permutation sigma, then I will again get the same permutation sigma. So this means row naught will become the identity of this particular set S3. Now we are going to look at what is the inverse of every element. So let us simply prepare the inverse table. So I will write here element and I will write here inverse. The elements are row naught, row one, row two, mu one, mu two and mu three. Now what should I multiply to row naught? What should I multiply to row naught? So that I will get the identity, but the identity is row naught. What should I multiply to row one? So that I will get the answer again equal to row naught. What should I multiply row two so that I will get the identity row naught? This kind of question we are going to handle. Now, if you go to the table and just box the row naughts everywhere, you will get the inverses automatically. So this means that row naught has inverse row naught. The next row naught is over here. This means that row one has inverse row two. So I will write it in the table now. Row naught has inverse row naught. Row one into row two is row naught. So inverse of row one is row two. Third line says that row two has inverse row one. The fourth line says that mu one has inverse mu one itself. Next line says mu two has inverse mu two. And the last line says that mu three has inverse mu three itself. So let us write the, the values in the table now. The inverse of row two, row two into row one will give me row naught. So row one is the inverse. Mu one, if it's multiplied by itself, then you get identity. So inverse of mu one is mu one. Mu two into mu two is also identity. So this means mu two is inverse of itself. And mu three is also inverse of itself. So here we have got that all the elements have inverses in S3. The elements are also in S3. The inverses are also in S3. The, associati the associativity part will be discussed when we discuss the permutation group in general, because these are all bijective functions and composition of bijective functions is again a bijective function. And F composite G composite H is always equal to F composite G composite H. That will be discussed in that section. So here, assuming that the associativity holds true, we now conclude that S3 with respect to this operation composition is a group. We will now further prove that this is not only a group, but it is a non-abelian group. So why S3 is a non-abelian group? Because if you observe mu1 composite rho1, and if you observe mu rho1 composite mu1, we will get two different answers. So from the table, if I go back to the table, mu1 composite rho1, from the table, mu1 composite rho1 comes out to be mu2. And row one composite mu one from the table comes up to be 
mu3 so here we will write that the two things are different and therefore we got two elements such that a a composite b is not equal to b composite a and therefore this will conclude that s3 is the non abelian group with six elements